It's upper half of the league. All Not to mention points in the paint. I mean, yeah, let, let's, the let's points look. in the paint, the dominance, the presence, uh, just his ability to to affect the game and impact the game. Uh, he's also younger, right? He's a guy rebounding. He's a guy that can get you 30 and 15, all that stuff, right? Like, again, LeBron is still LeBron. We still need LeBron James, without a doubt. I think we'll be okay during this stretch. Now, if this was the team prior, I'd probably be like, yeah, we're in trouble. But you look at this roster and you're like, man, we're still really good, right? And look, this is the roster. So you guys want a great example of what life's going to be like after LeBron? You're about to get it. Because our starting front court after LeBron is probably going to be Rui, AD, and Vanderbilt yep. with Beasley and D'Lo. That's probably going to be our starting five in two years. Unless we get some other star immediately after LeBron leaves. But that's who knows if that happens. That might take some time. So literally, we're going to look. We're going to get to see how is this team going to look in two years. Now, granted, but between now and two years, we'll have better chemistry, better you know, yeah. team building. Guys and so, will have a and certain key pieces will get but swapped, it, get changed. Yeah. yeah, It'll give us an idea of like, okay, how does this look? Is there potential? Are they terrible? Like, do we need, you know, like this is the roster we have now without LeBron is that roster. Yeah. Like this is, this is what we, this is going to be our roster very likely, unless something crazy happens, very likely this is going to be our roster for the next four or five years, which would be even after LeBron James, which means get a good look, embrace it, take it in, you know? And it, it's just, it's, it's funny because I saw so many people when we got the trade and we got everything done. And yeah. all that stuff, it was like, oh, we finally got a roster that can compete without LeBron. We finally, uh, you know, we don't even really need LeBron. Like LeBron can rest. LeBron can play 20 minutes a game, all this stuff. And now LeBron goes down and everybody's just like, the sky is falling. It's over. No, what are we going to do? No LeBron. And it's like two weeks ago, you were talking about how this team was deep and LeBron can rest. And A, you know, we beat the Warriors without LeBron and everyone was like, oh, don't worry about it. Let LeBron rest. He deserves it. Let him get his time. And now My LeBron, Steph was on the bench over there shaking his yeah, head. <laughs> and, now, and, now, and now LeBron's hurt and everyone's like, oh, no, we suck again. Oh, no. like, And it's like, relax. Like, this is the team that we have going for. This is the team that Rob built for after LeBron. So yeah. we're going to get to see it. And this probably, lets it, this probably lets him know what he needs to do. Like you said, well, like you said, lets him know what he needs to do. Like, do we need a star chase or do we just need to get more role guys and, you know, upgrade our role guys and just, and we'll be fine. Because if, if AD is going to stick around, you know what I mean? We just, I think it's, I think it's interesting too, because this is kind of one of those, like when your star goes down, how is your team performing? Can they still beat teams? But even with that said, you still have AD. So it's like, you know what I mean? I just, I don't know. Yeah. This, this, this conversation makes me want to look at like, the past like champions and like okay if you take away their star they still a tough team to really try and beat you know what i mean hey, look, like, look at it like this okay if like if you take away team, like kobe from like the the 09 and 010 championships like you know what i mean i, I kind of look at it like that in that perspective you, think, you know what i mean but here's the thing do you think uh, or duncan from the spurs yeah go ahead sorry let me ask you this question do you think that do you think that this team currently constructed without lebron do you think that they could make the playoffs like, say, fresh start, fresh season. Say we started the season, no LeBron. Do you think that they could at least make the playoffs? At least make the playoffs? Yes. Okay. So then why can't they make the playoffs right now? No, I, not, I, 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 I feel... Do, do they win a hey. championship? Absolutely not. Hey, I'm. Absolutely. I trust me. I trust me. I, I'm not. Again, I don't want like you. Like I don't want anybody to like misconstrue this. Is that like I feel like we don't need LeBron, but I feel like we will be just fine. Like I'm one of the like I'm on the other like the side of like the pendulum. We're like, I think we will be just fine without LeBron. I'm not I saying that, no. I'm not saying playoff wise. Deeper into the playoffs, like I want him to come back. Well, not, I, I don't think we're a contending team. But like, let's say, let's say, let's say this season, let's say we didn't have LeBron James all season, but we had this team starting AD, LeBron, or AD, yeah. Rui, Vanderbilt, D'Lo, everybody start to finish. I think this team is good enough to be a playoff team. I don't think that they're a contender. I don't think that they would win a championship, but I think that they'd be good enough to be a, a legit playoff team. I think they could be, I think they are right now without LeBron, a top six team in the league. Uh, but LeBron is the is the factor that makes them a contender. LeBron yeah. is the different. Like you add LeBron to that team, it's like okay, well now they're a legit contender. So my thing is that like I think that, that we're gonna get to see how good is this team really. We 
we were great against the Warriors in the very first game we played with, with this new roster, and we didn't have LeBron. The very first game we played, and we start to finish, held our own, and pulled out a solid victory in Golden State. You know, a team that's only lost six games in, in well, seven now with us, right? The do you have a question season. for you, just just, yeah. just for food for thought. With Steph, do you think they would? Now, again, Steph has off nights. Everybody has off nights. But with Steph having a decent average night, um, do you think that he would have, do you think we would have won that game? That that first game? No, 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 the most recent game that we just. The most recent game against the Warriors? Yes, we would have won that. Like, like, I think Steph could have went for 30, and we still would have won that game. I don't think we would have blown them out like we did, but we controlled that game start to finish. I mean, they had no answers for us. We Their were, chemistry we were, looks off this year, too. It's weird. Defense, defensively, everything was, like, really good. Like, that first game, the very first game that we played the Warriors without LeBron, I think I think if Steph played, that we would have lost that game. But this most recent game against the Warriors, uh, I think even with Steph, we would have won that game. Or like yeah, with as bad as LeBron played and as bad as AD played, we were just we were really good that night, really good. And I mean, you had Beasley shooting the lights out. You know, Vanderbilt was great; he was everywhere. AD was just a defensive monster. I absolutely think we would have won that game. Um, but the first game, the first game uh, where we all got together, I don't think we would have won. I think I think will we have had a chance? Yes, because that game was close start to finish. Yeah, but uh, we pulled away towards the end. And then we just put it out of reach to where the Warriors couldn't come back. Mm -hmm. um, but I think Steph would have been the difference. I think Steph would have, like when we started off slow and we were trying to kind of figure things out, I think Steph would have taken advantage of that and it would have made it tough. We would have been playing catch up rather than like with them the whole time and then got the lead and pulled away. I think the game would have been closer and very likely came down to the end, which I think Steph would have been the difference in that. But this second game, no, I think we would have, I think we would have beaten the Warriors even with Steph. Um, but in general, I, I do. I, I, I really, again, we'll see how it goes. I'm not saying like lock it in. We're a playoff. Like that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is that like I do think this team is good enough to win some games without LeBron James. Now my whole thing is like like I always say, let's wait and see. Yeah. Again, yeah, it's the old pendulum thing. Everyone loves to react immediately on emotion. Not everything has to be an emotional reaction. Let things play out. I understand it's frustrating. I get frustrated. Like when I got that news and I got the notification that LeBron was out, I was upset. I was like, come on, man. Like, give us a break. But and but you take a deep breath, take a step back, and you go, okay, well, we have a good team. We're good. Like we're solid. Do we need D'Lo? I think we need D'Lo bad. <laughs> I do think we need D'Lo. Um, I I don't know if we beat the Grizzlies. I do think we have a real shot at beating the Grizzlies, but I think Grizzlies at home is gonna be really tough. Yeah. Um my thing, and especially that's a without tough, LeBron, that is a tough stadium to play in. That is, is a tough. Place it is, to play. Well, and not only do we not have LeBron, but we won't have D'Lo for that game. So you're talking two games that uh, are two, two like two of our three best players. You're not. Yeah, gonna we won't have our top two so, of our top scores. Yeah. Yeah. So that. So I do think that that will impact us. But I think um, I do think we have a chance against Memphis. Memphis is, has not been playing very good basketball lately. So I think that's kind of in our favor. I, they're a really good team. Don't get me wrong, um, but you know they, they haven't been playing the, the best brand of basketball lately. And um, but I think the Thunder game. I do. I think D'Lo comes back, and I do think we win that Thunder game. And so what will probably happen, <laughs> and I'll even text you if this happens. Uh -oh, what will probably uh -oh. happen is we'll probably lose the Memphis game, and everybody will be like, "Oh my God, we suck." See, this is why we need LeBron, and everyone's gonna lose their minds. And then we'll win the Thunder game, and everyone will be like, "Oh, we're good, everything's fine." It's that pendulum swing. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm gonna do life I, of a well, Laker. Well, depending on how I feel tomorrow, yeah. Depending on how the dentist goes, because I got to do the post game stream. Uh, but for those that are watching this live stream, um, I usually do the post game stream on my own individual channel. And uh, but I got to go to the dentist tomorrow to get my tooth fixed. I'm having like tooth pain. And so depending on how that goes, I may or may not do that tomorrow, but I'm hoping that I do, uh, which would be nice. Um, but yeah, regardless, uh, if I do do the post game stream, then <laughs> very likely uh, we'll, we'll, uh, it'll be a lot of comments of like, oh no, the sky is falling, but hopefully we win it. I think we have a real shot to win it. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's dive into the chat a little bit before we get on out of here. 
Um, and then uh, let's get through some of the questions, and then we'll skate on out of here uh, through the chat. Uh, also, real quick, before we dive into the chat, uh, hit that subscribe button. We're only two subscribers away from 3,100, which would be amazing. What? So, hit it. so hit that subscribe button. Uh, take a quick second, and also like this live stream. It really does help us a lot. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into the chat here. And starting us off with the five dollars super chat. Thank you so much, Johnny. We really appreciate it. Um, it's upper half of the league. All Not to mention points point. in the paint. I mean, yeah, let, let's, the let's points look. in the paint, the dominance, the presence, uh, just his ability to to affect the game and impact the game. Uh, he's also younger, right? He's a guy rebounding. He's a guy that can get you 30 and 15, all that stuff, right? Like, again, LeBron is still LeBron. We still need LeBron James, without a doubt. I think we'll be okay during this stretch. Now, if this was the team prior, I'd probably be like, yeah, we're in trouble. But you look at this roster and you're like, man, we're still really good, right? And look, this is the roster. So, you guys want a great example of what life's going to be like after LeBron? You're about to get it. Because our starting front court after LeBron is probably going to be Rui, AD, and Vanderbilt yep. with Beasley and D'Lo. That's probably going to be our starting five in two years. Unless we get some other star immediately after LeBron leaves. But that's who knows if that happens. That might take some time. So literally, we're going to look... We're going to get to see how is this team going to look in two years. Now, granted, but between now and two years, we'll have better chemistry, better, you know, yeah. team building. guys. And, so, and certain key pieces will get swapped, it, get changed, yeah. yeah. It'll give us an idea of like, okay, how does this look? Is there potential? Are they terrible? Like, do we need, you know, like this is the roster we have now without LeBron is that roster. Yeah. Like this is, this is what we, this is going to be our roster very likely unless something crazy happens. Very likely, this is going to be our roster for the next four or five years, which would be even after LeBron James, which means get a good look, embrace it, take it in, you know. And it, it's just it's it's funny because I saw so many people when we got the trade and we got everything done. And yeah. all that stuff. It was like, oh, we finally got a roster that can compete without LeBron. We finally, uh, you know, we don't even really need LeBron. Like LeBron can rest. LeBron can play twenty minutes a game all this stuff, and now LeBron goes down and everybody's just like, the sky is falling. It's over. No, what are we going to do? No, LeBron. And it's like two weeks ago you were talking about how this team was deep and LeBron can rest. And, A, you know, we beat the Warriors without LeBron and everyone was like, oh, don't worry about it. Let LeBron rest. He deserves it. Let him get his time. And now LeBron. Nice.